my friendship with Nick Rockefeller was one where we, were, uh, we expressed ideas to each other and thoughts and philosophies. And he wanted me to become part of what they were doing and for me to become a member of the CFR and uh, offered various business opportunities for me to get involved in and for me to um, not take up the fight or the battle that I've been taking up in the past, you know, to drop that idea because what was the point of my fighting for the people, right? So uh, I had a friend, Nick Rockefeller, okay, who was one of the Rockefeller family, and he, uh, uh, when I was running for governor in Nevada, he came to me, introduced himself to me through an attorney, and uh, we became friends. We started talking about things, and um, I learned an awful lot from Mr. Rockefeller. And one of the things that we used to talk about was the ultimate plan of the banking industry, what they wanted to accomplish. And the goals of the uh, banking industry, not, not just the Federal Reserve System, but the private banks in Germany and England, all over Italy, all over the world, they all work together. They're all central banks. And they're, and they're all part of the Communist Manifesto. You know, central banking is one of the major planks of the Communist Manifesto. We talk about America being a capitalist country, but yet at the same time we have a central bank that plans everything for us, right? And the graduated income tax is another plank of the Communist Manifesto, right? So right there you have two major planks of the Communist Manifesto that have been brought in because of the Federal Reserve System, okay? So uh, the ultimate goal that these people have in mind is the goal to um, create a one world government run by the banking industry, run by the bankers. Where, and, and they're doing it in sections. The, the European currency, the euro, and, and the European constitution is one part of it. Now they're trying to do it in America with the North American Union, right? And they want to create a new currency called the Amero, right? And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be um, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is giving me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so, any, so not, instead of having cash, anytime you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And if you're like me or you, and you're protesting what they're doing, they can just turn off your chip. And you have nothing. You can't buy food. You can't do anything. It's total control of the people. And that chip's connected to a database that has your purchasing records, what you do. What everything. You everything is in there. You know? And so they, they want a one world government controlled by them. Everybody being chipped, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips, and they control people, and you become a slave.